Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday afternoon, April 1st. We are looking at Window Traders, Market Profile, SPY, WMN, Triple Qs, lot to get to. We will be recapping all three of these indices charts from top to bottom. Market tried to pull an April Fool's joke there, M period. Once again, Mo. we call the K, L, and M the three stooges, Curly, Larry, and Mo. Curly with a K, because boy, oh boy, do they love to do different things. Um, we nailed this day today um, the way we saw it. Absolutely nailed it, which was very, very um, uh, great to do, especially to, for everybody in the trading room. You know, when you're trying to help 100 plus traders, 150 traders in the room and trying to keep them uh, away from trouble and then getting back on board and stuff because things are constantly changing. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome to be uh, locked into a zone. Triple Qs go out. Uh, only eight wide and a day's high and low. Russell goes out nine wide. You can use L as an afternoon pullback, I guess, and a day's high and low. We go out nine wide and just a day's high and low. And today's low is a weekly low. It's going to be very important as we uh, look later in the charts. Russell started off like a ball on fire today. Open, drove straight up, took back the base of their price probe, their trend day, and got into the upper distribution, only to just puke it all away. And then end up closing in the upper distribution. That was pretty nice. Q's never got to the base of their price probe. Neither did we. We didn't even come close. So even though it's a victory for the Bulls, I think, overall, for the way they um, could have been disastrous with that close yesterday, the bottom line is this. You know, we always say who won the day. Well, Bulls are going to say, you can barely take out yesterday's low. And the Bears are going to say, you couldn't even get to the base of the price probe. They're both right. In the bigger picture, which is the weekly, the Bulls are in control. In the shorter picture, which is the daily, the Bears are in control. That's it. And we're in balance in the monthly. Plain and simple. As far as trading today. So we opened, right, with lower value. We had it all day lower value. And we opened inside M's range. We traded M's range, a good uh, part of A, well, all of A, and a good part of B, C, and D before we finally got away from it. I did nothing in A. There was no trade for me. I took a, uh, a, a short in B, basically, when we pushed up uh, against value uh, against the opening. It's like if they don't get it, that uh, I'm comfortable being short here, 453 puts. Um, and again, when we one time frame down, I, I didn't take it right away there because I didn't know what was going to happen at the day's low. And so I did short it, though, each time it started pushing back. So that was a nice uh, trade in B a couple of times. Then in C, we had single prints to start. So I shorted it a couple of times. Once, though, I had I, I shorted it twice, did okay. Then the third time I had some on, I'm like, they're going to fill these single prints. I actually grabbed 30 of the 451 calls to fill the single prints. I should have held on to the five puts because right after we did it, we went back down for a while. But that's fine. I took the last five off for, for a small loss, but I made overall on that trade on the short. So that's what I did in C. Now, did nothing in D. We didn't take out the IB until E when we took out the poor low. There was no tempo. Took 449 calls. I'm like, they haven't really shown the ability to go trend, but they did go trend. Right? First I bought them. It did okay. Then we pushed down again. And I'm like, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. We're attempting to go uh, trend. So in F, where we had single prints, 452 puts. Shorted them a bunch of times. Every time we pushed down, and not on the lows, every time we got some kind of pull back up as we were going lower, took shorts and uh, put them back on each time. G period. They couldn't take out FSI yet, still one time framing down, but now they're not getting much, right? We got decent distance in E, de decent distance in F, but uh, G not as much. So I actually took a long, um, the 449 calls, nothing big, did okay. Now here's another trade. Remember I missed yesterday's long? Boy, did I miss it again today and I was furious. Uh, I was busy in the room, but again, it's nobody's fault but my own. I was like, these sellers aren't getting much. We only have the one set of singles. I said, if I takes out H is high, we will go and fill the single prints. So basically, that's exactly what happened. 
I wanted to innovate and take it right before. Didn't do it. We were talking. Boom, took it out, popped up. When it popped up, came right back in. But I don't like doing it on the second time to take the long, and I didn't. Obviously, it would have been the thing to do. But anyway, what I did do in J was short it. Short it small um, initially at half back, right above half back, and then added a 20 lot right around the park. Now, the fact that we didn't lower park told me if we do pull back, take it off for whatever you can get. And I did. So I was long 35 puts. They came in. I made decent on the 20 and the 10. Made pennies on the 5. And then once it went back up again, I said, I will not do that again. Now, I didn't do anything in K. I said, if we get back to ease high in K, where we have a chance to get 9 wide, the day's high and lower in. I said, so if we get away from point of control, I want to take a long to go back to it. And that's what I did in L, 449 calls, and in M. Believe it or not, M twice. I bought a 10 lot at value low and a 5 lot down there. But when we were hanging around there, I still like, I still think we have a chance to get it. But I'm like, it's getting late. I don't want to waste, you know, I'm not going to get involved. Boy, oh boy, should I have gotten involved. I'll show you on the 30 minute chart. We went up two and a half dollars in two minutes on two million shares. Talk about ripping apart shorts. It's amazing how these shorts get ripped apart. Then the longs get thinking we're going to take out the day's high. They get ripped apart. And then again down here, well, we're going to go make a new low. No, you're not. It's utterly amazing. So good, very good day, good week, good start to the month. Very mechanical, very educational for our room. As far as destinations, today, today's high is the only upside, 453.46. Then we have the price probe from yesterday, 455.26. And then our single prints, 455.67 to 83. And you should have everything else I gave you yesterday. For the downside, 451.66, nine wide out park. And then today's low, which is incredibly important because it's now a weekly low. 449.14. Actually, it's a monthly low since it's the first day of the month, but I only write weekly low, obviously. Now, let's get to the charts. We have a lot to talk about with all these indices. We're going to start with Russell. So Russell finally came back into balance on the monthly when we took out last month's, the previous month's high, right? Late last month. So they're firmly balanced. You can call it a three-month balance, including this one if you want. You can use uh, 212.25 is the high of it. And then you can use uh, January, uh, February's low as the bottom of it. But for now, clear balance on the monthly. They didn't have that outside month up, though. Remember, they had a chance for it, and they blew it. They need to get above 209.05 again. Weekly, up. Now, I know we came back in. But at some point, i got to give the buyers their due. Yes, we're below 209.05. But because we got above it and took it out by $3, I am going to call the weekly up. If we take out this week's low next week, firmly back to balance. But I'm going to give the buyers their due for now. So monthly balance, weekly up, daily, inside day. Daily went from balance to down. Back to balance. Now we're technically still one time framing down because yesterday and today, uh, two days in a row, we took out daily lows. Now we didn't take out a low, but that doesn't stop the one time framing. But since it's an inside day, I will call it balance again. Why is this important? Well, here's why. If we come out of the inside day to the upside, our first destination is 208.91. That's right below that previous weekly balance high. So the buyers then have a real shot to get legs going again, right? But if we come out of the inside day to the downside, not only will we be taking out an inside day to the downside, you're probably going to go test possibly the weekly low. Now, I would still call the weekly up, like I said, until we take out this week's low, which is 20303. But again, you'll be in a lot more danger coming out of a two-day balance to the downside to go take that out. So this inside day is going to be pretty critical for Russell on Monday. 
So monthlies, balance, weekly up, daily balance. Triple Qs, monthly, balance. We took out last month's high finally, but we never had the outside month up, but it's now a two-month balance or three-month balance starting today. Okay? It's three months of balance, including April's a start. Weekly, up. Yes, it's a crappy finish on the weekly candle. So is ours, but it's up. Okay? So the weekly is up. And the daily, still down. One time framing down three days. So the monthly balance, weekly up, daily, ba uh, daily down. And that's going to be kind of the same as us. Remember, bulls are in charge of the intermediate time frame. Bears are in charge of the short time, the uh, shortest time frame, the daily. Two month balance. Again, if we take out this month's high at some point, am I going to call the monthly up or am I going to call the four month balance? I'm still not sure yet. It depends when it happens and all things of that nature. But for now, bottom line is it's balance. Weekly, up. Not a great finish on that candle, but we're clearly up three weeks. Daily, down, clearly down, three days. But a nice finish with the hammer, right? Stayed above the 200. You know a very important level we held? February's very, very wide pock in ES and SPY was four, was, if I can get to it, give me one second. It was 449.30. Well, guess what? We tested it in G, right above it. We got below it in H, but that's it. So it held again. Very important level. So to me, here's our line in the sand. If you take out the weekly low, which is today's low, then we're purely back in a three-week balance. Plus, if you do that, you might be back below February's very wide pock. So that wouldn't be good for uh, bulls. But if we hold today's low and take out today's high and start getting some traction, well, then maybe the short uh, near-term highs aren't in. And look at this real quick. Look at this. They exploded, right? Look what they did here in M. Look at the consolidation they did between basically 333 and 348 15 minutes yeah they tried to pop here came back so 15 minutes and then when they finally decided to say let's go we went from 452.02 to 452.70 $2.68 each on a million shares you think short-term traders can move a market they certainly can again come check us out at camelbacktrading.org Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Enjoy your weekend. Rest up. And we'll speak prior to the opening on Monday.